Hey Dan, this is Dr. Fulon. I had a few minutes to kind of look at this this afternoon. Um, you're right, there are some occurrences here that probably shouldn't be here. Um, type and format the opening lines of the business letter at once. Um, you know, these two lines, as you can see. Um, the only thing I can think of is right here, Mr. Herman is supposed to have a colon. So I don't know if that is setting it off weird. Sometimes there will be something around the actual problem that is the issue. And I just, I'm not 100% sure why it would be flagging this area here. Because as you said, there's two ends in Herman and um, you've got Mossy Drive 9035. Everything else looks good. Um, but I do see a colon here. Um, scrolling down, this R should be a lowercase r, which is really not a big problem, and it doesn't mention that. And then I looked over these lines here. You do have small caps, and you have um, you know italics, and you have bold. It's, it's almost like something is jolting the letter, and it's off. I don't. I don't know exactly what the issue would be. My my guess would always be I have the students fix those kind of couple of things and then push it through again and see if it ups their score. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just save it and then upload it to the email and you can submit it again on your end if you'd like. Just download it and make sure you submit this one. But I'm just going to go ahead and go in and change the the scores in here and I can add the points back. It's not a big deal. I mean, you, you to me, you have everything in there correctly. Um, sometimes SimNet is just kind of funny like that and it will flag a few things. You know, if you had a really difficult time with that initial one and you had to make a lot of changes, sometimes it's um, a little more challenging. I'm gonna check this real quick after Placer Hills Real Estate, the R, if you have your initials there. Yeah, you do. So. Um, like I said, I'll save it and then you can upload it, see if it makes a difference at all. Um, sometimes the students are working on maybe an older version of Word or if they're on a Mac or something like that. It can cause some issues that I don't really get to see on my end. Um, so that could be an issue too, but typically this doesn't happen. I mean, this, the reports are pretty accurate, you know, as you found out with the guided and the um, extra credit. So like I said, I'll give the points back and attach this to um, the email.